guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sheikha Colette. It's been a very, very long time. I did miss speaking to you guys. I missed being in front of the camera, but I was having a crazy skin breakout. Um, I honestly don't know what was causing it. It was, it was, it was bad. I couldn't even put makeup because when I'd apply makeup, my skin would itch, the more pimples that would come out. Um, you know what, let me just show you guys a picture of how it looked like and it started, it came out of nowhere. I didn't know if it was exercising a lot. I didn't know if it was a change in my diet because um, as you guys know, I was trying to gain weight. So I was on a weight gain program. I was like, maybe it's, you know, the many calories that I've started eating. I was like, maybe it's the environment. Honestly, I didn't know, but I'm okay now. This is why I'm back on camera. I missed you guys and I hope you missed me too. I am back and I'm back with an exciting series. Yes, yes, yes. I said series, guys. I got married. I am Mrs. Simon Says. And with that being said, I was basically recording every process that uh, we were going through, uh, wedding related, the preparations, and um, the actual day. I tried um, taking as much content as I could so that I could obviously share it with you guys. So from now till maybe the next three to four weeks, I'll be sharing you guys the wedding content and explaining to you guys um, the different cultures. I'm originally from Botswana and my husband is from Zimbabwe. So two different cultures, two separate countries. Um, it was an experience and a half, honestly. So with that being said, let me get right into it, guys. But before that, don't forget to share, to like, to subscribe, to comment, and all of that. And my new name for this series, guys, is Makwati with the vibes, okay? Yes. I'm still Sheha Colette, that's still my name, but I'm still Makwati with the vibes. Maybe we should call this series that. What do you guys think? But okay, yes, stepping right into it. I believe we all remember, or those who are new to the channel, I need to start forgetting about my new subscribers, guys. I love you guys. I hope you caught up and watched other videos. But anyways, um, Simon is my husband and we got engaged while well, he proposed February 2020. This was right before the serious, serious lockdown happened. He came all the way to Malaysia. I was based in Malaysia. He came there, did a beautiful proposal. Let me show you guys the video. I was crying and everything. You know what? It was, it was amazing. It was romantic. My husband is the best. Um, got, uh, got engaged February 2020. And then we had planned to get married in December 2020. But because of COVID, because of the lockdown, we're also in two separate countries. It was very difficult for us to be able to fulfill that promise we made to each other that we're gonna get married in December. So things had to change and uh, come 2021, it's finally done. Um, a lot of things had to change though from the way we wanted our wedding, um, how we wanted it, uh, obviously, and when we wanted it, we had to adjust and make new plans uh, in regards to that. But I personally, well, we personally, I'll speak for my husband too. <laughs> we personally believe that everything happens for a reason. There's certainly a reason as to why God let that happen and um, why God wanted us to get married in 2021 and all of that. So. Let's step right through it. I, I talk too much. I still talk too much, guys. But anyways, um, the first thing that happens, right, when you get married, let's say after engagement, né? two separate cultures, um, the guy, the guy's family is actually supposed to follow what the girl's family say, meaning that in order for for Simon to come and pay Lobola, that is the traditional uh, side of it, paying the dowry, paying the Lobola, right? Um, the bride price, rather. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Um, I'm sipping on my herbal life tea mm -hmm, for that extra energy so that I can explain to you guys nicely. <laughs> okay. Um, so the guy's family is supposed to follow what the girl's family says, meaning the girl's culture. So in our situation, Simon and the family had to follow our Donna culture. Um, so this series will be mainly about the Lobola process. Everything that happened 
from the engagement till the lobola, till the actual actual day he brought the money, the cows um, rather, uh, to my parents, to my family, to my uncles. So the first thing that we do in the Dwana culture is that the guy's family, Simon's family, had to call my family. That person is called Hokokota, basically. Literal translation means to knock. Kokota. Hey, um, Kokota. You see, literal translation means to knock. When you knock, um, it's first between the parents, meaning the bride's parents and the groom's parents. Um, the groom's parents calls the, the girl's parents and tell them that, listen, our son has seen your daughter. Our son wants to marry your daughter. We have this much amount. Is that okay with you guys? We're planning to come on this date um, and do A, B, C, and D. Do you guys want anything else? Is there um, something that we're supposed to bring and all of that? So this is between the parents first, right? I remember um, in Zim, it's a bit different. In the Botswana culture, well, guys, um, I just wanted to mention that in Botswana, there are different tribes, right? And I am from the Bakatla tribe. So you might find that um, Mwakezi and Mwakatla, the, the things they do are a bit different, including the Sotswana they speak. We speak different dialects and um, the cultures might differ from here there. So I will speak specifically um, for the Bakatlas as to what I saw uh, during our wedding process and I will also mention that because of COVID and because uh, I was also in a separate country uh, my husband was in a separate country my parents were both in separate countries um, but we had to adjust and do things um, a little bit different like for example the hokokata meaning that knock process the core process without COVID and when everything is okay like before you actually the parents have to meet up meaning uh, the guy's parents needs to come to the girl's home and just speak to the parents as parents on parents basically but now because of the circumstances we had to use mobile phones anyways um in the zona culture it's first with the parents but in the zim culture now it's not the parents only it has to be the uncles that call the bride's family so that part we had to adjust a little and cater for both families but anyways simon's uncle ended up calling my my parents and talking about you know we want to come our son just found a daughter what 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 the day we got that call i was so excited like i was yo my goodness i couldn't believe it basically like i was like yes it's finally happening Mind you, this was around May 2020, hoping that we're going to get married in December, but obviously that didn't happen. Then we had to move the date. And when you move the date, the guy's family is still supposed to call again and say, hey, we're moving the date. Sounds a bit tedious, but that's how our culture is. So, yes, the uncles called my parents. They um, discussed and finalized on everything the bride price the date um, and all of that now after this process is done after the hokokota and the parents speak or meet up in like non-covid uh, years that's when now the girl's family the the parents rather go meet up with others um the grandparents and the aunties ne? They tell them, oh, we received um, news that Simon is looking for Colette. He wants to marry her and all of that. So this is what they say, right? The family agrees. This is the close family. Or rather, in Sotswana, we call them Dikroho. Dikroho, literal translation means the heads. The heads of the family, right? So after that, um, it's another process again where those Dikroho and the parents then go tell the bigger crowd, which is um, the extended relatives, the people in the village. And that, as it is, is a whole other event called Mafoko. Before I show you guys the Mafoko process that was happening, I have to show you guys me traveling. <laughs> traveling from Malaysia to Botswana because um, I was now about to be a married woman, basically traditionally and um, lawfully and Christianity fully.
if that's a word but anyways um yes i had to then i leave malaysia travel to botswana and get ready for the process i was very scared to travel during covid i i remember i traveled around april 2021 and i was a bit skeptical about it i was like you're traveling through um covid the procedures might be long the process the lines do this do that the filling of the forms the testing and all of that but it actually wasn't as hectic as i thought it would yes um you obviously have to go to the airport a bit earlier than if it was normal no covid because there'll be a whole lot of screening a whole lot of security checks and all of that um but all in all i did travel safely i traveled well um there were no, i didn't encounter any problems apart from obviously always running to my gate and them calling my name on that speaker thing but that always happens the mafoko now where my family has to tell the heads and everybody the village leaders their extended relatives and all of that the way that it happens is that the delegation meaning let's say my dad and my grandparents and my aunties and uncles then have to choose amongst themselves who is going to go house to house in the village and tell people that hey you know um this so-and-so's daughter is getting married and we're going to have the mafoko literal translation of mafoko means words <laughs> words and um yeah they choose who's gonna do that so that is done but like i said because of covid things had to change a little bit where they were now calling people instead of physically going to their houses um yeah and then a date is set for that muffle or we go to the village yes me included i am happy that i was able to go to the village for that process because that's like the final big meeting we do have a lot of meetings prior to that one um but this one is like the big and final one where everybody now knows where it's like serious like um i remember that morning i was like okay no this is happening for real and simon called my husband called that that morning he video called and i was at the village um i were not allowed in that meeting it's more of like a meeting that happens early morning at 6 a.m so i wanted to show him what's happening like my friend and i had to like tiptoe and sneak and like show him via video what was happening because we're not we were not well i was not married by then we're, we're single and only married people are allowed to attend such meetings um but prior to the morning and at night yes we traveled to the village the previous day in the afternoon and um my cousins and i met up my friend came later on we had to make bread meaning we bake uh, whatever you want to bake really even fat cooks you can fry maguinya fat cooks <laughs> for the people because we're supposed to sell well not me but like the married people <laughs> that attend the meeting for example my sister and my other cousins were serving now the elderly ones that tea but the tea was made by us the single ones yeah but we're doing it at the backyard you know what i mean because we're not allowed <laughs> in the front yard where everybody would have assembled meeting starts as early as 6 a.m which means the whole night the previous night we're baking we're preparing and all of that good morning guys how do i look hope i'm not too bad i am at the village and um we're having my four call my focus when the elders the and the family meet up and talk about the wedding procedures and all of that um we're not allowed to go in it only married people are allowed to go and sit for them at Foko, but we have to make tea in the fire. Um, last that we had to uh, make bread, but you're us too tired to do anything. But let's go say hi to everybody. <laughs>
So my grandmother named my friend a new name from Sinel oh, to Snag Snag to Snags to Snaggetty. My cousin remixed it to Snaggett. Snoop Dogg. So this is us making the tea for the elders and everybody. Um, these two beautiful ladies made the bread last night. Yep. <laughs> now I put in one place. Hey guys, in the meeting, they basically discussed the same thing that um, was said on the phone when the groom's family called the bride's parents. After the mafuku, it, it starts early, but like, eight nine it's done but obviously knowing my family they got vibes remember i'm with the vibes they are the family with the vibes we had to obviously enjoy enjoyment enjoyment <laughs> for the first episode and that is it thank you so much for watching this video i hope to see you on the next one okay same day same time same channel all right i hope you learned something from today's video and i hope to see you on the next one don't forget to like to share to subscribe and to comment thank you you take care god bless you from makoti with the vibes yeah, 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 yeah,